everybody and welcome into HelenKennard.com. I'm Helen Kennard, Independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm so excited that you're here tonight. This is my Facebook Live, but I'm also streaming on YouTube, so um, you can also watch me over there uh, if you want to. So tonight's Wednesday at 7 o'clock, and look at what I have to show you. This is a um, card that I got in the mail this week, and it's from a friend of mine. I, I told y'all I had a, an, a big event in April, the end of April. We invited all the North Carolina Stampin' Up! demonstrators to our neck of the woods, and one of them last year and this year um, came all the way from Maggie Valley. That's the... Um, furthest away that somebody drove. But anyway, I sent her a card because I I wanted to specifically say hello to her and I didn't get a chance. Um, so I sent her a card telling her that even though I didn't get a chance to see you, I got a chance. I wanted to let you know that I did see you, meaning I saw you, you know, that you came and I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate it because North Carolina is a very wide state, and I'm sure she had to drive more than five or six hours to get to get across the state. And she sent me this card back. Look at it, isn't it cute? Thinking of you, and um, she was just saying that how much she appreciated that. So I wanted to show you the card that she had made. Her name is Kathy with uh, cards by Kathy. So I did want to make sure I said uh, hello to her and let y'all see that. All right, this week, again, certainly say hello if you're here uh, when you get here. I have some really cute projects for you tonight. Um, this first one is a fancy fold and it's so happy to celebrate you. And look, that holds it in. Oops, can you see it? So happy to celebrate you. And then the, the flower holds it together. Let me open it up. Isn't that cute? Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make that one. That'll be the first chord. And then we have the little monkey chord. Love this. Just swinging by to say hi. It's always a cute little cord. And then uh, sending hugs. Y'all know I'm going to send this one to my brother. I love him so much. Um, so anyway, all right, let's get started with the first one. And again, all my measurements are going to be on my Facebook. I mean, on my um, um website tomorrow so make sure you go over there and get a great look at that for all the measurements I'm not gonna go through it all right now but I did want to talk you through how to do it it comes with a lot of pieces now these two pieces came from one of my favorite die set, Countryside Corners. It looks like that. So this one was uh, the second largest, and this is probably the largest, yes. And I've scored it from corner to corner. I wanted to show you that. Can you see it? But anyway, let me see if I do it that way. You might can see it. Scored it from from corner to corner, and I'm going to show you why in just a minute. But these came from the Petal Park um, Punch, Petal Park Builder Punch. These little flowers, so and the designer series paper came from. The Settles, uh, the Settles Designer Series paper, 
to match our lemon lolly. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut your lemon lolly four and a fourth by eleven and you're going to fold it in half. Let me turn this down. And you're going to trim off a one and a half peep. So go ahead and uh, trim that off. And you're going to use your bone folder for your burnishing. And go ahead and burnish this one while you're at it. Okay, let's see. That's mountain. Okay. All right. Then you're going to um, cut your designer series paper. Now this is how it goes, like that. So it's not this way, okay? It's not the way we normally see it. It's this way. So your larger piece of designer series paper, which is um, four by three and three fours, is gonna go down at the bottom. Now see, you've got that, that's fine, because that's all gonna be hidden. Now, we can go ahead and put that on. I hope everybody can uh, see me. Yeah, I'm going to put this on. If you're here, say hello. So first of all, so I know you can hear me, and tell me who, where you're from, so I can say, "Hey, Naomi, hey!" <laughs> so glad you're here. All right. So this piece we're gonna take and put some adhesive across here. Now, if we're doing something like this, a fancy fold, I'm going to use the um, tearing tape because I don't want it to come off. That's the way we'll be opening it. So let me get my take my pick tool. And we're going to center it. Center it with the fold down. See that? The folds down. Okay. The second piece of de uh, designer series paper is uh, two inches by four and a half. And we're going to put that right here across here so you don't see this. So it's going to hide it. Okay. There you go. And look at that, it hides it so you don't even see it. Okay. All right. This part goes on the inside. So we're going to go ahead and put this down. It goes down flat. We'll have something to write on. And let's go ahead and stamp this. We're going to stamp 
um, it with basic gray. I think for a minute. All right, I am using the stamp set. Well, they got everything I needed. Layering leaves. It is such a sweet, sweet uh, stamp set. And I'm going to say, so happy to celebrate you. So let's get that one out. Now remember, you just need to tap, tap, tap. I have to remind my customers that you don't mash it into the ink pad. You just tap, tap, tap. That's all you need. Get it where you want it. And because this is photopolymer, you need something uh, to stamp on so you can get a good crisp image. See that? See how good that looks? Okay. Now clean this before I mess it up. Okay. All right, before I forget it, I better put my ribbon on. Somebody was trying to tell me I had dropped my ribbon and not to forget it. All right. There you go. Look how good that looks. This is part of a three pack of, of ribbon. The uh, Lemon Lolly. Let me make sure I'm telling you right. Um, Azure and Pebble Path, uh, Pebble Bath. So it's it's really nice and got it's like silver on the edges, and it folds so nice. Let's see if we go to here. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to put this on with dimensionals. So pretty. All right, so the last thing we have to do is put our little flowers on. Now, I like crumpling them up and then unfold them. It gives them a, a little bit of texture and a little more real life petals. There you go. Very nice. Now we're going to use a Blue dot. To put these together. And you kind of want to overlap them. 
then another one. Again, you want to offset them. And then one on the bottom. Now this one's real important because oh, it's stuck to my finger. Now it's stuck to that one. Talk on it. Okay. You're gonna put this right here. And you may want to double uh, glue dot it because it's going to be holding it. It's going to come into a lot of stress from people opening and closing it. Does that make sense? But you want it to stay closed. Then the last thing we have is our tinsel gems. And what I have found about these that I love is that it may not be the exact color that you're looking for. Like I want to show you. Can you tell that kind of looks green, doesn't it? Looks green here. But watch what happens when you pair it with your, um, I'm using this color. See, it looks a little bit lighter than that. Can you tell? But you put it with it and look, it takes on that color takes on that same color. Okay, now, oh yeah, I'm going to put some here. Now, do you see now how that looks more yellow? You can't hardly see it, can you? I love these gems. They just really add a lot to the card. There you go. I hope you like that one. Very simple. You want to make sure you sign the back of it. And somehow I got glue all over the back of it. <laughs> all right, card number one done. All right, card number two. Very sweet card. Now look, I want to be looking at this monkey. He goes upside down. And I keep putting him in my card stash like this so I can look at him, but <laughs> it really goes this way. Okay. All right, so you cut your basic white, four and a fourth by 11, same thing. You're gonna use your um, bone folder to burnish it. And then you're going to go ahead and um, put this on with dimensionals. Now let's go ahead and stamp it first. All right, so we're going to need our memento and a bunch of, a bunch of our um, blends. All right, what did I do with the stamp set? There it is. Okay, we're going to need the limb. And set those over there. And the banana. And the monkey. And the sayings. Just swinging by to say hi down there. Okay, banana, monkey, and saying. All we need here.
let's go ahead and do the same again tap 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 very nice okay and the tree limb Stamp, stamp, tap, tap, tap. All right there. Clean. All right, I'm going to set this aside. We're going to Stamp the monkey and the banana. There it is. There we go. Now I like coloring him in first. Let me get these cleaned off. going to color him in with I'm going to use the dark and light crumb cake and then um, the petal pink dark let me get his face first this is petal pink You know, um, alcohol ink goes on darker, and then as it dries, the alcohol dries, then it lightens up. But to color him in, I like using the um, light, and then go in with the dark and shading. Isn't that adorable? Just as cute as he can be. Now I'm going to use the dark and go in under his chin a little bit um, around his tummy and maybe right there. Then I go back with my light and blend so there's not a line there. And right here where I put the dork on his tummy. I guess I could have made it a little bit darker there. See that when you blend you can't see the the line. Okay, the banana. 
could be fine. I'm going to do a little bit of shading with it. I'm using the uh, Daffodil Delight. Okay. And Crumb Cake Dark. There you go. Oh, thank you, Diana. Thank you for sharing. I greatly appreciate that. It just helps me so much when, when you share. This is a uh, lemon, lemon lime. Still trying to get used to the new names. All right. Now we're going to put them in here. Right up here, that way it gives me a little more control. See how I'm using this to control it? There you go, then you get him right in there and pop him out. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the banana, well I might not need it, nope I don't, I can put this in right here, there you go, get all the pieces out, nope, Threw the banana away. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put him on upside down, kind of hanging off of the branch with dimensionals. Isn't he a cutie pie? He's so cute. Okay, one on his tummy. One on its head. Again, you want them kind of hanging. Okay, and then the banana. I would use the um, small dimensionals. I'm only going to put one. I think that's all we need. There you go. <laughs> He's got that sweet little face, doesn't he? All right. Now the ribbon we're going to be using for this comes from this pack. which is the Ribbon Duo. But do you see that? See how cute that is? Very fun. Very fun colors. Now, I had a class, a bingo class on Monday, and I had to teach a couple of new ladies how to make a bow without wrapping it around something. So that was fun. There. Okay.
I'm going to put two glue dots. Oh, maybe I'm not. That one came off. Maybe that's all I need. Did I tell you my youngest son just moved to Charlotte, which is a five hour drive from here on the other side of the state. And I'm so happy and sad at the same time. I can't hardly stand it. I moved around and was weepy and tearful for two days. Finally, got my big girl pants on and decided, okay, I've got to let him spread his wings. Well, so the first day he got up there, I'm thinking, um, okay, well, he's unpacking, he's getting his life straight, you know, he's going to be okay. Well, my husband texted him and said, well, how's it feel to be waking up in your own place? He goes, oh, I'm out on the boat with some friends. <laughs> my mouth dropped open. Here I was. Yeah, I can tell, ladies, it's just going to be better if I don't know. You know what I mean? If I know I'm going to worry sick that he's... Is he doing the right thing? Which I know he is, but, you know, is he being safe about it? You know, his friends are from uh, some of his um, <clears throat> ECU friends. So it's just been very different, and I'm finding out that it's better if I don't know what he's up to, though every day I want to call him and ask him, how's work? I did text him and ask him that the first day, and he said, long. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to tell you that, Eric. Your days are going to be long. There you go. Two down. Okay. This one had a bunch of pieces in it. So this is Pebbled Path, and we're going to be cutting it four and a fourth by eleven and scoring it at five and a half. I mean, at, yeah, five and a half. And then we're going to be taking this piece and we're cutting it four by five and a four, and we're going to put it on. But before we do that, we're going to use the Pebble Path. Let's see what this is called. Um, Pebbled Path. Hmm textured ribbon. Now this one is very nice too, except you have to be careful because it will uh, want to ravel on you. So sometimes that's good if that's your intention. Now this one I'm not putting in a um, bow. I'm just going to tie a knot. have to wrestle with it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to tighten it up. There. Okay. Kind of on an angle. There.
Now we can put this one on the dimensionals. We're almost finished, you guys. It went by fast. There you go. This one is such a sweet card, I think. This um, embossing folder is one of the basics. There's three of them in that uh, bundle, and it's um, three, can you see it? Yeah, I love it. 3D, and there's three of them. I love it. Okay, so now that we got that done, let's go ahead and do our stamping which is going to be in Pebbled Path. And, no, that's basic gray, sorry. Pebbled Path. And I'm going to be sending hugs. Well, what did I do with that one? Is it there? Here it is. No, I thought I put it on. Oh, um. Now, what did I do with the. Oh. Do y'all see it anywhere? I'm looking for the. Here it is. Sending hugs. There it is. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. Nice. Nice, nice. Alright, so now we're going to put some of the little um, textured. I want it, I don't want to be able to see it real good. Did you see that I stamped off to give it a lighter color? And then I'm going to do the same thing with the berry burst. I'm going to stamp off, just tap, 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 and then I'm going to put it over here, because look how dark that is, and I don't want it real dark. Okay, so let me clean these two off. Oh. There. We're almost done. We're going to just assemble this. And then you layer on your flowers. And they're using the bow punch. So I've done one in vellum and one in the berry burst. And again, the same thing with these two. So what I'm going to do try to use these. Now, of course, I've got it upside down. Maybe right in there. I hope everybody has some really cool plans for this weekend. Fourth of July weekend. Let's see, I'm going to offset that a little bit. Can you see that? Oh. 
so I've offset it so you'll be able to see it a little bit better. And I'm going to put this one on. We are going down to the river. We have a fifth wheel down on the river and we're going to have a picnic with all the residents in the in the park. We're so excited about that. You know, it would be the first picnic that we've had in our trailer park this summer. And I was trying to find that one piece. There it is. And so that'll be fun. We always have a good time. And if it's sunshiny, we'll take the boat out. Yeah. So y'all may see. Maybe I'll post some pictures of us out on the boat this weekend. Actually, this was supposed to be up underneath here. I was so excited to put it on there. I forgot. Let me see. Are y'all doing anything fun? Your daughter lives in Charlotte, Diana. That, that is so funny. How long has she lived there? I've had a lot of friends say, well, isn't Eric scared to move that far away from home in such a big city? Because um, you all know I don't think, I don't know, is Greenville smaller or bigger than Jacksonville? And I feel like it's smaller. <laughs> you know what? Okay, that was supposed to go under there, but did you see how I fixed it? I lifted it up and then put the um, glue dot under it. All right. Uh, he didn't seem too nervous about it at all actually and I think it's because he's got friends there but I'm nervous about it real nervous about it but he got a great great job and that's everything isn't it I know who's looking out after him for me and I know he's in good hands, so. Seven years. Well, she really knows her way around Charlotte then. Look, I'm going to a Stampin' Up! event. Um, when is it? July 22nd in Charlotte. Yeah, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to, of course, stay with Eric. He invited me. Can you believe that? He invited me to stay with him. I thought he'd say, look, I'll see you. <laughs> Have fun finding a place to stay. Okay, so now I don't want to forget my gems. But no, he, he's a sweet son and invited me to stay. So I'm going to take him up on it. He lives on the southern side of um, Charlotte, I think he said. And I, I don't know, I'm really nervous about going up there because I don't do well with, um, you know, if I, once I'm outside of my driveway, I don't know where in the world I'm at. I don't know if I'm northeast, south, or west. I'm challenged that way. I got this all up underneath there. So going there is, you know, I'm a nervous wreck. My fingers are white from worrying. I'm trying to figure it out. There. Huh. Nice. I really like that. How often do you get up there, Diana? Huh. 
You're going to Maggie Valley? Wow. My friend is from Maggie Valley. All right, there you go. So here's our cards. We did good. And I hope y'all enjoyed those. I'm going to put my um, measurements and, and all of the, the tutorial on this on my on my blog so make sure you go there it's www.helenkenner.com and you can also watch this on youtube and if you do please uh subscribe to my channel um, but for sure if you're watching this on facebook go ahead and share it and make a comment that helps my business so much and i really really appreciate it what did you think of the cards? Aren't they so pretty? Yeah. I ought to send my son one like this. Just swinging by to say hi. But anyway, um, I appreciate you guys. I wanted to remind everybody that Stampin' Up! is still having their DSP sale this month. So we have a select about 15 different uh, designer series paper that's on sale for 15% off and it's only through June 30th so that's at the end of the week you don't want to miss it and then the other promotion we have this uh, this month is our um, starter kit so you know if you're not a demonstrator you're missing a 20% discount on everything that you buy so that can add up especially if you're um, you know you enjoy doing paper crafting so come on and just join for the discount if nothing else i'd love to have you on my team they're a special group of people uh, we love everybody and have a really fun time if you have any questions about anything certainly e email me or um, contact me i'll be glad to answer any questions that you have if it's about the cords or the um, DSP promotion or the starter kit. So um, I hope y'all have a great week. I'll see y'all next month. That sounds terrible. <laughs> see you in July. You guys have a great weekend and be safe and I'll see you next week. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.